Well, hello to all of my awesome YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. Okay, so what I'm doing today, I got some updates about the battery backup system I made a while back. But I have a challenge for you. I have a question. What video did I start putting this thing together? What year? Was it 2016? Or was it 2017 when I start putting this whole system the ghetto? Now it's 2018. But you are gonna have to find that video. And you can also leave it down below in the comments if you want. Be curious on what I'm talking about. It's this big bad boy right here. Battery bank. I made a while back. And it's freaking awesome. And it's doing very good. Now, the one thing is, I'm looking to upgrade it some more, like a different charging type of uh, things, like solar panels and solar charge controllers, but I don't know what I should use for the type of battery in this battery box. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean, and let's have some fun. Awesome. But you gotta figure out what video when I start it this project. Awesome. Alright, now I'm going to show you what the battery I am using in this battery backup system I made a while back. Basically, I know some of you want to understand more about the battery, what battery I used in the system. I had to go on Walmart's website and do all my account information. And basically, let's go ahead and find out basically you guys and girls seen this before multiple times and basically this is my battery backup system basically here is the three 12 volt outlets two USB ports for charging USB devices a voltage meter a LED strip light of course the switch to turn it on and off and we come around to the side a main switch to turn all this stuff on on top charging port switch and the outlet that's not a cigarette outlet that one's hot all the time all right there's the parity for everybody but well, basically let's go ahead and exit out of this and let's go and scroll down for the information uh, some of the information about this battery tubes. If you want to take a look. It's awesome. That's something you're going to say, Chris. Do you like building things and putting things together? I absolutely. Now remember, it all depends on what you're going to use your battery bank uh, to power certain things and also your budget as well. Let you know the battery is the most expensive out of everything in this unit itself basically like eight dollars that's for the battery not crazy but let's go ahead and show you what i mean all right basically here is the whole entire system of course i did put a lot of safety in mind you can kind of see here is the small circuits basically these are the three cigarette outlets of course these are 15 amp uh, fuses these are the USBs, and that's the voltage meter, and basically it looks nice and clean. And of course, that's the, the ground bus right here, or ground bus ball, negative side stuff. And we move over here, kind of see how it looks nice and clean. Still need to work on some of the wiring. You kind of see there's a switch, there's the charging uh, unit switch, cigarette outlet, and a couple different fuses as well. And of course, there was the battery right down below. Here, uh, some information here if you want to know about it. And I did blow up the page a little bit for you can kind of read the information about it. And yes, the unit works fantastic. I really like this little unit. It's pretty nice for a battery backup system. Sweet. Well, basically, there you guys and girls. Basically, that's what I put in this battery backup system, and that's the main halt 
of the whole title system by using a 12 volt battery. You can use whatever battery you choose to use, but don't use ones or liquid batteries because they're not very good for uh, stuff like this. So basically, this whole unit is not light. It's very heavy, basically. And how it is. So you can flip the switch on, nothing works on this unit. You can see it's all 12 volts basically, and that's the reason why I built this unit. Wish it was a little bit lighter some days, instead of heavier, basically. But what can you do? But yes, you can actually choose different batteries if you want. But the problem is with all in battery sources, they can be quite expensive. But the one in this one was only $80. But everything on this unit can be replaced, and that's awesome, and that's the reason why I built this unit to uh, uh, replace certain components. If anything does break on this unit, you're not stuck with a broken system, and that is freaking awesome. But alright, you guys and girls are also going to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out, we'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. Right, catch you later, tubes.